In this video, chain rule part 6, we're going to do radicals in the denominator. So in our first example, I would rewrite this and think of it as x cubed minus 3x to the negative 1 half power. If I rewrite it like that, now I can clearly see my inside function. My outside function would be something to the negative 1 half power. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of the outside, so negative 1 half to the negative 3 halves. Again, I subtract 1 from the negative 1 half power. Don't change the inside multiply by the derivative of the inside would be 3x squared minus 3. I can do a little bit of cleanup here. f prime of x is equal to, let's put the 3x squared minus 3 on the top. Let's keep the 2 on the bottom. I have a negative I need to bring down. So let's make that negative. And let's rewrite the inside part here. And one way to do that would simply be the square root of x cubed minus 3x cubed. An alternative way of doing that would be a negative 3x squared minus 3 2 x cubed minus 3x root x cubed minus 3x. Again, if we have three of these, we can bring one of them outside and leave one inside. In our second example, again, we're going to want to think of this as 5, 3x squared minus 6x to the negative 1 half power. So f prime of x is equal to, we have the power rule, so negative 5 halves, 3x squared minus 6x to the negative 3 halves multiply by the derivative of the inside, 6x minus 6. Let's try to clean that up a little bit. If we notice that with the 6x minus 6, if we take out a 2, inside we would get a 3x minus 3. And the reason we would want to do that is now we can cross-cancel these 2s. I get f prime of x is equal to, I have a negative 5 on top, I have a 3x minus 3 on top. On the bottom, I have my square root of 3x squared minus 6x cubed. If we want to think about alternate possibilities, we could factor out the 3 on top and make it a negative 15. That would give us an x minus 1. And again, we could pull out one of these and get a 3x squared minus 6x root 3x squared minus 6x. So we always like to think of possible alternate answers. In example 3, one more time, let's again think of this as 2 cosine x to the negative 1 half power. So we have f prime of x is equal to, if we do the power rule, 2 times negative half would be a negative 1. Don't change the inside function to the negative 3 halves multiply by the derivative of cosine, which would be negative sine x. Let's clean that up a little bit. We have a double negative, which is going to make a positive. We're going to leave our sine x on top. Our bottom is, again, square root of cosine cubed x. 
we could bring out a cosine. So we have sine x over cosine x root cosine x. Notice that we have sine over cosine here, which is tangent. So alternate possible answer would be tangent x over root cosine.